the seven best technology degrees of 2023. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the seven best technology majors, and we're gonna be ranking them in terms of important things such as salary, job satisfaction, as well as how much demand there is. So in this year's list, not only am I gonna be telling you how much demand there is, but specifically because of the fact that most people watching this video are relatively young, in high school or college most likely, I'm gonna be talking about the demand at the entry level. So this is something that I'm doing different this year versus last year because there's a lot of jobs out there that have a ton of demand, but there's not so much at the entry level. So if you appreciate videos like this, go ahead and question mark kick that like button like Israel Adesanya, and let's go ahead and jump into this one. All right, so the first one on the list is going to be information technology. Now with this one, you have about 5,800 graduates per year. Now the early career pay is going to be 55,000, mid career pay is 92,000, and the meaning score is 44%, which is okay for a technology degree. Now according to Glassdoor, when you type in information technology, you're gonna see about $74,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, when you type in information technology, you sort by jobs, and then you sort by entry level, you're gonna see 218,000 results, which is phenomenal. So this one I have mixed feelings on, and here's why. I do think that information technology is a good degree. With that being said, you can absolutely get into IT without getting a degree. There are countless examples of people doing this, and a lot of the time this is true in the technology industry in general, but for IT, it's especially true. The entry-level job in IT is gonna be known as IT help desk. A lot of people start off if they go into information technology in this position. And this IT help desk position really only requires a few certifications and for you to demonstrate that you have certain skills. Now I've interviewed a ton of people on this channel that have been able to break into technology without a college degree or previous experience. I have an entire playlist of those people. And two of the positions that are super easy to break into the technology with are tech sales and information technology. And luckily there is a company that I really love that is phenomenal at getting people into these positions. And there is a free training down below. You can check that out if you'd like to. I'll put it in the description as well as the pinned comment. They also offer a more advanced service where not only are they gonna train you even more, but they're gonna get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies. And if you choose to use that service, I do have a $50 off coupon, Shane50, I'll put that down there as well. Number six on the list is going to be information science. Now at this one, there's about 5,700 graduates per year. The early career pay is gonna be 60,000, mid career pay is 94,000, and the meaning score is 38%. Now an information scientist would expect to make about $90,000 a year. And if you type in information science on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 48,000 results, which is very healthy. Now BLS is relatively limited when it comes to the careers, but one career path you might end up going down is gonna be computer systems analyst. They make $90,000 a year. There's 633,000 jobs available and it's growing at 9%, which is faster than average. Again, really good. Number five on the list is going to be a tie between cybersecurity and information security and assurance. So both of these are relatively similar. They're both designed to protect information and data at a company. With cybersecurity, you can expect to make about $61,000 a year starting out and 93,000 in mid-career pay. And the meaning score is 58%, which is great. If you type in cybersecurity on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $84,000 a year. And one career path you might go down with either of these degrees is gonna be information security analyst. They make $99,000 a year. There's 112,000 jobs available and it's growing at a ridiculous 32%. Now for information security and assurance, there's 3,600 graduates per year. At the entry level, you're going to make about 60,000. Mid-career pay is 103,000. And the meaning score is 39%. If you look this one up on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $90,000 a year. And again, an information security analyst would be a very common career to go into. Next one on the list, number three, is gonna be information technology management. With this one, you'd expect to make about $57,000 a year. There's 102,000 in mid-career pay, and the meaning score is about 50%. If you type in information technology management on Glassdoor, you're gonna see about $124,000 a year. And one career path you might end up going down is computer and information systems manager. They make 140,000 a year. There's 414,000 jobs available and they're growing at 11%, which is much faster than average. So this 
one is basically information technology mixed with management skills. So it is a better degree when it comes to the numbers than just a normal information technology degree. But with that being said, again, using Course Careers, the link in the description below, you can break into the technology industry and then just work your way up. And by the time you would have gotten your degree, you probably could have gotten into a management position anyways. And you would have been making money the whole time and probably learning a lot more. Number two on the list is gonna be kind of a combination because these two are grouped together quite a bit. And it honestly really depends on the college you go to. The curriculums can be pretty much the same. And that is gonna be computer information systems and management information systems. So for computer information systems, the early career pays 55,000, mid-career pays 98,000, and meaning score is 39%. According to Glassdoor, management information systems makes about $112,000 a year. And if you type in management information systems on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 48,000 results at the entry level. If you type in computer information systems on LinkedIn, you'll see 18,000 results. And one career path you might see them going down is computer systems analyst, they make $90,000 a year, 633,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 9%, which is faster than average. Number one on the list is gonna be no surprise to anybody out there, that is going to be computer science. Now you could also throw in software engineering here as well. In some countries, computer science and software engineering are the same thing. They're the same picture. In the US, there is a slight difference, although they end up going for the same jobs typically. So yeah, with this one, you'd expect to make about $68,000 a year starting out, 114,000 in mid-career, pay and the meaning score is 41%. If you type in computer science on Glassdoor, you're going to see $91,000 a year. If you type in computer science on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 191,000 results. And one career path you might go down, of course, is going to be software developer and they make 105,000 a year. There is a whopping 1.3 million jobs and it's growing at 21%, which is just nuts. So yeah, tons of opportunity for computer science graduates at the entry level, and then even more opportunity down the line once you've gotten a few years of experience. One interview that I highly recommend watching is Antoine Wade's interview. He is a fellow YouTuber, really awesome guy. He's a great resource when it comes to technology-related jobs. And he actually worked as a software developer. He worked in IT and he ended up in tech sales. And he ended up making over $540,000 a year after getting a bunch of experience. So there is a ton of opportunity in tech. Definitely check that interview out. I'll put it right here.